Hello and welcome back to the Axapar London Group YouTube channel and today we are in Mallorca on board of a brand new Axapar 29 cross cabin in some slightly non-Spanish style weather. You can see we're in the cabin on the boat, we've got the window wipers on, jackets on, jeans on, we've lost the good weather you may have seen in some of our other videos but it's a great opportunity to show you just how capable this 29 cross cabin is and in all conditions. 26 degrees yesterday and today it must be about what 16 degrees and raining but the great news is this is why people buy a cabin. Yeah. We went out on this yesterday um, and we've done some filming and yesterday these big doors wide open, this sunroof wide open, you feel very connected with the sea, yeah. it was beautiful in the sun, we were really enjoying that open boat feeling. Today the weather's changed, we're in a secure environment, doors are shut, sunroof shut, we can have a nice conversation and we're sheltered from the elements and that's one of the great things about this but remember in an axapar you've also got the option of having a sun top yeah so for those people that don't want a cabin there is something else but if you have the cabin you've got such versatility right we'll put a link to our sun top video up here in the corner so go and if you'd like to see the sun top click on that and on that one it was sunny i promise should we talk about how the hull attitude has changed yeah it's hydrodynamically this boat is designed in a different way so one of the things that um, owners talked about on the 28 was that she the bow sat quite low which is great in moderate sea conditions because that um, typical axe bow deep V hull of an axapar carves through the water which gives you that really soft ride not forgetting you've got twin steps in the hull which is very against most boats most boats would tab up to try and avoid splash and spray coming over the top, whereas with an axe bar you trim down and you carve through it. In big conditions, perhaps one of the challenges with the 28 is that it would be a little bit wet because you've got that bow down. So they've changed the whole dynamic of this boat. They've increased the volume, the forward sections of the hull, um, the bulwarks are higher, but that attitude has changed. So she does sit nose higher. So I think we should demonstrate that. Yeah, right? definitely. You can feel that actually from this driving position. You can really sense the bow is certainly higher than you'd have on a 28. I mean, we've got a slight following sea here just on our port rear quarter. So I'll start to pick up the speed now. Um, and we, you can see straight away the nose has picked up. Yeah, definitely. I've got no tab on at all now. So I've got active trim active on the engine and I've got no trim tab on it whatsoever. So you can see the bow has actually risen quite high there, certainly in relation to where we would be on the... I mean, again, for a 29-foot boat, I feel like we've got so much volume forward. This boat feels really mature. I feel definitely that we're on a bigger size boat, right? Yeah, definitely. I mean, you, you feel very comfortable on here. You know, we're picking up the speed now. I bring the speed up a bit more. So 15 knots. So you're at, what, 15 knots, and we've got the nose up. So if we've got really strong weather, we've, we would absolutely drive perfectly in those conditions. Let's get a bit more speed. We're up to 15. We've got that V10s. Really beating, awesome. yeah. right? So 20 knots. Amazing. So should we trip tab down and then get the nose down and see what yeah, she likes? So I'll bring the, the nose right down now, so I'll tab right down. I won't change the trim of the engine whatsoever. I can feel that nose really coming down now. We've got full visibility ahead. We can see the, the sea condition, the wave pattern, and what a smooth ride. 23 knots in fairly lumpy conditions. I'm going to tab up a bit more now, just to take a bit of that tab off, just stop it to spray on the screen. Yeah, it's, it just it inspires confidence. I think that's the thing with this boat. I mean, we're in fairly unfamiliar waters here to us, but it inspires confidence. We're out here, you know, we're perfectly safe. We've got a bit of sea running, but I've got great visibility. I might just have to put the window wipers on in a minute, but other than that, we're all good. So should we see what she's burning per hour on? Yeah, so let's pick it up to sort of a slow cruise. So it's slow cruise here, so we're doing 19, 20 knots. Obviously we've got a bit of sea condition here to deal with, so um, we're doing there, we are doing 45 litres an hour. So we've already looked at the fuel data and it's quite interesting, this boat is more efficient, actually faster. Well, it's absolutely demonstrates Axapar's efficiency in the hull. Yeah. So we're what, 20 knots, just under 50 litres an hour. We've got 400 litre fuel tank. Yeah. So that gives you quite a lot of range of this speed. Yeah. But pick up the speed, fuel consumption is probably not going to change drastically. 22 knots, and again, as I mentioned, you know, we've got a swallowing sea here, but I feel very, very confident with the conditions. And that higher bow here has definitely given me more confidence in this following weather. The, the, the bow is now a long way from the waves. No spray. No spray. And what have we got? 
we've got wet windows, but, but it's raining outside, but you feel great visibility everywhere you look. And you notice in the 29, these windows are much bigger. We haven't got those big mullions at the back. Yeah, so experience. you can literally see everywhere. A small pillar here. Um, so let's just see, because the Axapar hull is so efficient that actually you can go the same, burn the same fuel at faster speed. So but let's get up to 25 knots on, which is, I think, fuel consumption wise, is the most efficient speed. I think we'll put some fuel data on the screen. We're not, we haven't got um, litres per nautical mile, but so 25 knots, yeah, we're burning the same fuel. Yeah. She's sort of swinging from 45 to 50 litres an hour. See what she's like at higher speeds. I appreciate the weather's not great for that today. But yeah, I mean, let's pick it up to 30 ish knots in these conditions, it's probably faster than that. So we've got a, a moderate sea, we're running with it. I mean, I don't know many boats that you would have the confidence, certainly at this size, that you could drive like Not this. without getting very wet and uh, cold. And that's the other thing here, you know, we're very comfortable. I don't think that's the main, you know, the real strong point of this cabin, it really is. So we've moved to a chauffeur-driven scenario here, Stephen. We have a captain now, we captain. feel very luxurious. Yeah, the boat's not driving itself. 29 foot boat. Um, we wanted to demonstrate again how comfortable, whether this was deliberately designed this way, I'm not sure, I'm sure Axpo will say it is, but these angles here, great for resting your arm. If the driver was going a bit faster, I've got this great handhold here, this feels really solid. It does feel solid, and this glazing, I mean this is a key feature of the new 29 isn't it, this, the, 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 the glazing at you the, feel like the back of the cabin here, I mean it is Love these little details, the adventure company and the glazing, I think that's Huge really cool. window there across the track, off yeah. across the, you know, the, the rear we're, of the section. We're on the wet bar version, we're not on the yeah. half cabin, we did film that some of that yesterday. But I do love the fact that you've got so much storage up there here. There's huge, yeah, there is a huge amount of storage underneath your seat, and the access is just so easy as well. It really is, now we're on this new design, lift this section up. That shelf here, that's quite cool. And that, and you know, perfect for all sorts of gear, yeah. bags, I mean, you can see what loads of life jackets, grab bag. And it's really good how it's been shelved out and it's all smooth to get things in there. Um, I love this new upholstery colour, it looks really, really great. Um, even the USB charging point down here, um, yeah. which is great if you've got iPad, iPhone for charging. Wet bar, multi storage, half cabin. There's so many different options. Different layouts at the front, yeah. lots of different upholstery colours. I think it, may, it might feel daunting when you watch us talk about all the different options and the versatility, but we sell Axapars in five different countries. We've been doing this with them now for over six years. Um, get in touch with us if you want to understand uh, your different requirements. Talk to one of our experts. Yeah, we can guide you through it. We can give you examples of scenarios of different boats in different territories. Yeah. And yeah, please do get in contact. Uh, we'll sign off now from this video. So thank you very much for watching the Axapar London Group a YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe, we really do appreciate it. Leave us a comment, drop us a like, thank you for watching and don't forget to watch our 29 Suntop video when the sun was shining here in Mallorca. Link above.